found a terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found because it's the nearest star to the Sun. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful observatory ever launched into space, has stunned the world with a revelation that is nothing short of revolutionary. In its ongoing mission to explore the farthest reaches of the cosmos, it has turned its gaze towards Proxima Centauri, our Sun's closest stellar neighbor, and its Earth-sized planet, Proxima b. What it discovered has electrified the scientific community and gripped the imagination of billions clear, unambiguous indicators of life. Not just possibilities, not just intriguing anomalies, but actual biological signatures in the atmosphere of an exoplanet more than four light years away. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. This extraordinary discovery did not come in a single moment of revelation, but rather through painstaking observation. Webb's powerful instruments, capable of analyzing the atmospheric composition of exoplanets with unprecedented precision, identified complex molecules in the thin layer of gases surrounding Proxima b. The spectroscopy data revealed a rich mix of gases rarely seen together outside of biological processes, methane coexisting with oxygen, traces of nitrous oxide, and even faint but consistent hints of chlorophyll-related compounds, all pointing to the inescapable conclusion that life, in some form, exists on Proxima b. For decades, Proxima b has been a tantalizing target in the search for extraterrestrial life. Discovered in 2016, this rocky exoplanet orbits within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri. It's about 1.3 times the mass of Earth and receives roughly 65% of the light Earth gets from the Sun. While red dwarfs are known for their violent flares, Proxima b's orbit, climate stability, and size made it a top candidate for habitability. Yet for all its promise, hard evidence eluded astronomers until now. James Webb's instruments were designed with this exact challenge in mind, offering the capability to scan distant worlds for telltale chemical signs of life. As the data streamed in from deep space, excitement quickly turned into awe. The Webb telescope's near-infrared spectrograph and mid-infrared instrument allowed astronomers to peer into the delicate layers of Proxima b's atmosphere. The detection of oxygen, especially when paired with methane and water vapor, created a chemical signature known as a biosignature disequilibrium, essentially a planetary atmosphere that shouldn't exist unless there's something constantly replenishing and maintaining it. On Earth, this disequilibrium is caused by the respiration of plants, animals, and microorganisms. That same phenomenon appears to be occurring on Proxima b. What makes this revelation even more extraordinary is that these biosignatures are stable and consistent across multiple observations. Webb's suite of instruments confirmed these results under different stellar conditions, ruling out the possibility of a one-off cosmic anomaly or instrumentation error. The presence of chlorophyll-like compounds in particular raised eyebrows, not only because they resemble pigments used in photosynthesis on Earth, but because their spectral fingerprints matched those found in terrestrial plants more closely than anyone could have predicted. This opens the door to the astonishing possibility that photosynthetic life has evolved independently in another part of the galaxy. The implications of this discovery reverberate far beyond the confines of astronomy. Biologists, chemists, and even philosophers have found themselves confronting an entirely new reality. If life can emerge on a planet orbiting a red dwarf star under the harsh ultraviolet bombardment typical of such stellar environments, it suggests that life in the universe may be far more common and diverse than previously imagined. It shifts the statistical probabilities from speculative optimism to concrete expectation. The universe, once thought to be a vast, lonely expanse, now begins to feel more like an interwoven tapestry of living worlds. Proxima b's environmental conditions deduced from thermal profiles and climate models suggest a temperate climate with localized weather systems, liquid water, and potentially even a biosphere. While the planet's rotation may be tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star while the other remains in perpetual night, there is likely a habitable twilight zone along the Terminator line. This region could support a range of complex ecosystems, and the life detected could be microbial, plant-like, or even something far stranger. The detected gases suggest metabolic processes, but not necessarily intelligence. At this point, the evidence points to biological life, not technological civilizations. 
Nonetheless, even microbial life beyond Earth fundamentally changes our understanding of biology. It answers a question that has lingered for centuries. Are we alone? The answer is now a resounding no. Life has found a way not just on Earth, but in a world vastly different in its environmental parameters and stellar host. This means the building blocks of life are not limited to the conditions found here. The biochemistry of Proxima b may share surprising similarities with terrestrial life, or it may reveal completely novel frameworks. The possibility of biochemistries based on different amino acids, proteins, or even entirely alien molecular structures is now an open question, and one that researchers are eager to explore. The presence of chlorophyll-like compounds is especially provocative. On Earth, chlorophyll is vital for photosynthesis, allowing plants to harness solar energy. That Proxima b could harbor organisms that evolved a similar solution under an entirely different stellar spectrum suggests a kind of convergent evolution across planetary boundaries. Red dwarfs emit most of their energy in the infrared, unlike the sun's visible spectrum. If life on Proxima b developed pigments to absorb that energy, they would likely appear dark, possibly even black, to maximize absorption. This lends itself to a vision of an alien ecosystem blanketed in forests or microbial mats of dark-hued vegetation basking under a dim crimson sky. The detection of nitrous oxide, a byproduct of microbial life on Earth, adds another layer of intrigue. On our planet, it is often released by bacteria in soil and water. Its presence in Proxima b's atmosphere, especially at detectable levels, implies biological processes are at work beneath the surface or within watery environments. Water vapor detection further strengthens this scenario. Water is not only a solvent for life, it's essential for all known biological systems. Its presence supports theories of oceans, lakes, or subterranean aquifers on the exoplanet, any of which could host thriving microbial colonies or more complex organisms. This marks a turning point in planetary science and astrobiology. Prior to this moment, the search for extraterrestrial life has been a cautious discipline driven by hypothetical models and Earth-centric assumptions. With Webb's confirmation of life-bearing signatures on Proxima b, the entire field shifts from possibility to reality. Research focus will now pivot to characterizing this life, its structures, its metabolism, its environment. Scientists will dissect every spectral detail Webb can provide, pushing the telescope's capabilities to their limits in search of deeper truths. Already, the global scientific community is mobilizing. Observatories around the world are being repointed. Laboratories are modeling Proxima b's conditions in controlled environments. Hypotheses are evolving at an astonishing pace, as the implications of life on another world ripple outward. Questions once confined to speculative fiction, what is alien life like? Can we communicate with it? Could it ever visit us? Or us it? Are now firmly within the realm of serious scientific discourse. The psychological and cultural impact of this discovery is just beginning to take shape. Humans have long looked to the stars in search of meaning, imagining civilizations beyond the veil of night. Now that long-standing hope has tangible evidence. Knowing that life thrives elsewhere fundamentally alters our place in the universe. It challenges long-held assumptions about uniqueness and isolation. It pushes humanity to think beyond planetary borders and toward the responsibilities that come with being part of a wider biological community. From a technological perspective, the James Webb Space Telescope has validated the immense effort and investment poured into its construction. Years of delays and budget overruns were frequent topics of debate, but this single discovery has silenced all doubt. The telescope's ability to penetrate the atmospheric veil of distant worlds has changed the rules of planetary science. Its instruments have proven capable not only of identifying exoplanets, but of uncovering the chemical whispers of life itself. In the coming years, the data from Webb's instruments will become the foundation for an entirely new era of space exploration. The mission parameters of future telescopes and interstellar probes will be shaped by what we now know about Proxima b. Space agencies around the globe are already beginning to reassess priorities. Proxima Centauri is the most obvious target for any future attempt at interstellar travel or signal exchange. While a physical journey may lie decades or centuries in the future, communication technologies may begin beaming carefully designed signals toward Proxima Centauri, hopeful for a reply from something, however primitive, that may be listening. Theoretical models of abiogenesis, the origin of life, are now under a microscope. How did life start on Proxima b? Did it arise independently? 
following pathways similar to Earth's primordial soup, or did it emerge through completely alien mechanisms? Could panspermia, the transfer of life via asteroid or cometary material, have played a role between Earth and Proxima b either way? These questions, once rhetorical or academic, now demand answers grounded in evidence and data. Life on Proxima b also raises the possibility that many other nearby systems could harbor similar ecosystems. If one planet orbiting a red dwarf can support life, the sheer number of red dwarf systems in the galaxy, estimated to be nearly 70% of all stars, means the chances of finding more life-bearing planets just skyrocketed. Proxima b may be the first, but it is unlikely to be the last. This discovery has made the universe feel smaller and more connected. The stars above are no longer silent sentinels of empty worlds. They are potential harbors of biology, each system a potential Eden. For the first time in human history, the search for life beyond Earth has yielded more than silence or statistical modeling. It has found a voice, silent for now, biological rather than sentient, but real and profoundly alive. James Webb has lifted the veil, and in that moment of revelation changed not only what we know, but what we believe to be possible. The journey is far from over. The more we look, the more we are likely to find. But Proxima b will forever hold its place in the Chronicles of Discovery. It will be remembered as the first confirmed instance of life beyond Earth. The moment when humanity's dreams of cosmic companionship leapt from fiction into fact. With each spectrum scanned, with every atmosphere examined, we now carry with us the knowledge that life is not a miracle unique to one blue planet. It is a thread woven into the very fabric of the universe. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on life on Proxima b? What do you expect next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.